According to the Manufacturing Institute and Deloitte, there will be more than 4 million manufacturing jobs to fill between now and 2030. These are exciting opportunities to make a great living and also make a difference, working as a team to help change lives. That's happening right now in manufacturing with Pfizer in Sanford, North Carolina, where teammates are taking on treating rare diseases. There's a story and there's a person and there's talents behind each of those things. There's engineers, there's electricians, there's mechanics, there's scientists. Minds all working together to create that good. One promising field is gene therapy, where manufacturers at Pfizer are making real the potential of these bold breakthroughs to tackle rare diseases that affect more than 25 million people in the U.S. alone. I think about my grandparents getting a vaccine that we've made here, my parents getting a vaccine that we made here. I think about my friends who have genetic disorders who could potentially one day be treated by our gene therapies. Knowing that what we do has a massive impact on, on kids and, and people all over the world, you have to be passionate and energetic about it. It's kind of hard not to be. Gene therapy to Pfizer is a new modality. Um, we here in Sanford, North Carolina, have uh, built, uh, very recently in fact, a 170,000 square foot manufacturing facility. It's the only one within Pfizer. Um, that facility is capable of both um, pilot and commercial manufacturing. Gene therapy is a um, specialized treatment at a cellular level. It could provide a one-time treatment to patients and potentially, hopefully, it can restore the function of the gene in the patient. I was involved with the gene therapy manufacturing process design, looking at the certain wastewater and waste emissions coming out of the facility, making sure that we are managing those aspects in a way that enables the sustainability of the environment and the public health. Lots of breakthroughs and innovation with that manufacturing operation. After so much effort and the time spending working on gene therapy quality control department, it's so exciting and rewarding to actually visibly see that product. Pfizer has a very large portfolio of vaccines and other therapies that can really impact someone's life, whether it's preventing a disease or treating a disease, whatever it might be. In manufacturing, one of the things that I was most proud of was completing process validations for our meningitis vaccine. To be able to complete that and be able to start commercial production, and then to be able to be part of process improvements to make the process even more efficient was really rewarding. When I walk into the site and I see uh, pictures of, of children across the site with a little message. There's one that always sticks in my head that says, please focus on my dose. That's amazing to me, especially now that I have my own children, taking them to the doctor, watching the doctor give them the vaccines. I can say, like, I'm proud to be part of that team that, you know, I had a hand in that somewhere. We actually brought in um, two mothers who had lost their daughters to meningitis and they spoke to us about the impact that they saw that a meningitis vaccine could have. So to understand you know, what those mothers had been through and how the vaccine that we're producing could have potentially saved their daughter's lives was a really, really powerful, um, powerful moment and you know, it, it said a lot to myself and to our team. Innovation is very much linked to the purpose um, breakthrough that changes patients lives um, each and every time we have a new program a new platform that's where um, colleagues on the Sanford site really come into their own collaboration and teamwork are a key in uh, Sanford because the whole manufacturing process involves so many departments like quality control and uh, like engineering department manufacturing research and development. 
No man or woman can do this job alone. We all offer our talents together to get this goal that's greater than any of us and ourselves could achieve. I put a lot of emphasis on team, a lot of emphasis on collaboration, a lot of engagement around developing relationships. And through that activity, you know that as a site you can perform at your very best. They take care of each other. We hold each other accountable. We always have each other's backs. Being able to have a part in the growth of somebody's career path as a supervisor is, is so rewarding. I have the best team in the world. I think to have leaders that invest in their people and growth and not only leaders invest in that, but colleagues who are like family or who, you know, care enough to ask about, about certain things. Um, I, I think that's what makes it, you know, fun to come to work. I think that's part of why we are able to be successful at the medicines that we make. The advice I have for somebody who wants to get into manufacturing would be to reach out. We have a great education program here with local colleges and local schools, local high schools. Uh, for that very need, we want people to go, I want to learn about what manufacturing is all about and help them form an opinion. Is that an area they would like to, uh, at some point, work in? And no matter what skills you have, you have something very valuable to bring to the table. Whether you have an electrician background, a scientific background, engineering, business, they all come together to create this unified whole of bringing products to society. They will make huge impact on patients' lives, improve their health, and make great contributions to people all over the world. Having something and working towards something that's bigger than myself, medications that can make a difference in someone's life, that can save someone's life, I think that's been one of the most rewarding things for me about working at Pfizer. If you're interested in helping people, and that's what you want to do in your life, I would encourage you to specifically look at um, manufacturing. That way you will have a hand on the product that is going to go and help the people that, that you want to help. Discover how you can become a creator at creatorswanted.org.